to this your boy Scott for you from the Sound of the Sunday Radio Show. I am actually doing this uh, broadcast right now. Um, I'm not going to bring music um, to you right now today. That's uh, for Sunday. But what I am doing today, actually, this is a special, um, a special show, um, and it's I'm actually labeling this uh, entitled the Stimulus. Um, advanced proposal for all my brothers and sisters out there that's living in different parts of the uh, cities, okay, that's uh, expecting and waiting on their stimulus checks coming in uh, from the government. Um, this uh, proposal is uh, something that I actually I've been, I've been thinking about um, on my mind last night, and actually, I was actually going to I'm actually putting this out today <clears throat> because I want you all to actually think about something um, in every um, urban city and stuff like that, especially with my brothers and sisters out there in the diaspora. <laughs> if you don't have an Africa plan and you don't plan on traveling to Africa, um, this is a, just a suggestion on when you get the stimulus um, check, okay, coming out this month and we're going to see it's actually if it's coming out every month not sure but anyway this is what i have proposed okay first many of you are getting uh checks for about 1200 uh, 1200 up to three thousand three thousand whatever depending on how many family members you have check this out what i would suggest is propose to you all my brothers and sisters out there is why everybody's on lockdown, like we're locked down here in California. What I would suggest is get 20 people, okay? 20 people. Everybody pitch in, actually get $500. $500 pitch in. Now, what this does is gonna actually, why everybody shut down, this is a preparation. So when everything come back up, it's actually a good way to stimulate the economy in your own neighborhood. Because we don't have communities right now. We have neighborhoods. <laughs> so what I'm suggesting is everybody take $500, right? And 20 people take $500. You make a contract, a commercial business contract with that $500 you're actually proposing, okay? $500. 20 people, $500. You go and look for a building in your neighborhood, a building, a commercial zone building, okay? What you do is you look at how much um, that building costs to lease, not buy, lease, okay? You don't wanna buy the building, you wanna lease it. You're gonna have to, have, that building is gonna actually be able to accommodate um, a food source, okay? Like a grocery store or something like that, big enough for a grocery store, and an indoor restaurant at the same time. 20 people, $500 under a con business, commercial business contract, okay? Because a lot of us don't trust each other um, with just giving money over to someone <coughs> and thinking that they're actually gonna do the right thing, buy it, okay? This way you contract everybody. Everybody has a contract, a commercial business contract, $500 that you're gonna pitch in, use, to open up, to lease that building, okay? That commercial building for a grocery store and indoor restaurant. Now, after you get those 20 people, okay, to solidify the building for the lease, okay? You all worked it out. But anyway, I'm gonna come up, uh, I got an idea on the end of that. But you take 20 more people with $500 under contract, okay? You're going to use those 20 people with $500. You're going to use that for your supplies, okay? 20 people, $500 for supply. You're going to actually become commercial suppliers, okay? So you have one. Commercial business partners, $500. 20 people, suppliers, business, commercial business suppliers. What you're going to do is actually you guys are going to go out and buy everything that the store, commercial store needs, okay? to supply that grocery store and the indoor, indoor restaurants, okay, indoor restaurants. 
Um, now, each city has its own legal um, legal preparation for the ABC, which is the restaurants and uh, cafeterias. So you're going to have to actually have to get that um, commercial building um, inspected by the ABC. Okay. You want to go ahead and get that. Somebody in your group can go ahead and get that done. Okay. So you got one, you got 20 people getting money to lease a building, commercial building, okay, <laughs> under contract. You got 20 people that's going to actually be become commercial business suppliers, okay? You're going to furnish that grocery store and restaurant, okay? That's, your, that's, your, that's that. All right, so after you're done with that, you get that, get that solidified. What you do after that, okay, you actually hire Get your, get your people together in your neighborhood. Get your young brothers and sisters who's actually not working, not that does not have a job. You get them to come into that best into that commercial building. You train them and you hire them. Okay. Let me tell you about the hire the um, information that you can get for getting your employees, your brothers, young brothers and sisters to get them jobs. You go to the SBA right now. All right. Don't wait. Go to the SBA right now. They have what you call a paycheck retention, uh, retention program, okay? Right now, you all can actually apply as a business owner, okay? Business owners, you can apply for the paycheck protection uh, program through the SBA, okay? You can get up to $2 million depending on how many employees you have. You hire your young brothers and sisters, or anybody who wants to basically work out of work, you hire them, you go to the SBA, you apply for the program up to $10 million, okay? That way you have payroll money coming in. Why everything's closed down right now. This is the smart, this is what I'm telling you, brothers and sisters. Why everything's closed down right now, you should be preparing. When you open up, you're actually ready to go and you're injecting money back into this into the economy, the US economy, okay? Now, you do that through the program. Now, you actually have your suppliers, you have your business uh, people under, uh, everybody's under contract, okay? You hire your brothers, young brothers and sisters that are looking for jobs, okay? That's even in high school, doesn't matter. You hire them, okay? And you go to the SBA for the program money and you get, actually you get them to <clears throat> get the government to uh, give you loans, basically a loan that's, that, give you loans, which actually can be forgiven. That's that's the key. You get your payroll protection program money up to $2 million, which can also be forgiven. Okay, if you if you use the money right, you're going to have to use 75% of that money for payroll. That way you can hire all your people, the brothers and sisters, the young brothers and sisters come in and train them, get them working, okay, for that business, all right? Now, after that, you have you have solidified your business. After that, what you all do, get 20 more people with maybe two, three hundred dollars, you put that money into a bank. Okay, you put that money into a bank that actually you get a loan on later on. Because right now you've actually got your business prepared and ready to go. So when everything when this all of this stuff is lifted, you all be able to open up and you begin to get going. Get your business license and everything like that. Lease, not buy. Okay. So when your business open up, boom, you got your people in the area. They're coming in, coming to your grocery store, restaurant. They'll go ahead and you know buy from your own people. Okay, buy from your own people. After that, okay. Now, this is just a start. Okay. After that, you got your grocery store. You got your restaurant. Now, those same people that's actually contracted with that building can go out, venture out, and open up other businesses like a beauty salon, nail salon, okay, a nail salon and spa. This is actually how you do it. We're going to actually, I'm giving a suggestion right now to stimulate the economy whenever this, um, whenever this quarantine is over, okay? It's a great way to get started in your own community if you're not, if you don't have an Africa plan. Me, myself, I actually have an African plan 
and I'm actually doing the new business um, in my homeland. Hopefully in Ghana once this uh, quarantine is lifted. But anyway, I wanted to give this information out to my people because the government actually giving the stimulus money out right now. Don't use that money to just blow off. Take my take my word for it. You need to actually have a plan. This is a good plan to start. Get that get that grocery store going and get the restaurant going. <clears throat> whatever. Okay. Um, some places already have restaurants, whatever. Those restaurants need to collaborate with the grocery stores, you know, and stuff like that to, you know, to get this money going, circulating in the economy again. Okay. Um, after that, you had these same people put money back into, because not sure whether the stimulus check going to be monthly or whether it's going to be one time. So if it's monthly, that's good. You keep injecting money into this business plan, this business proposal, and you keep opening up more businesses. Okay. This is how you do it. The start. Okay. I'm just only giving you a start right now. All right. Um, like I said, it's been on my mind since last night and I want to actually get this out to my people. Okay. Don't sit on, don't sit on this $1,200. If you can, if you can pay your bills with a thousand dollars, whatever, use the other money to invest back into your neighborhoods. Like I said, we don't have communities right now. We have neighborhoods. Get people and have them sign contracts. Okay. To do this with your, with your money. Do not do any business without signing a contract. Okay. And last but not least. Now, <clears throat> with all of that being said, you have, you take people in that, in that same business community. Okay. That you're going to do what you do. You're going to actually open, you're going to actually organize a 5013C nonprofit organization. This is going to be called the, Ab the business advocate uh, commission. Okay, what this commission does, all right? You're gonna get people together. What this commission does, you you you're not gonna to go to you're not going to actually go to courts. Forget the courts, okay? Because they're tired. The courts are tired of seeing black people come in, trying to sue people for money, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that right now. You get your 5013C, your ab your business advocate commission. Anytime anybody flake on actually say like. You have people under contract. If they flake on their 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 their, their promise, whatever, um, or they you know do something wrong, you have your commission right there that they will actually have to come to, okay. And you can actually take care of business that way, all right. Um, you can do it legally through that through that nonprofit organization, which will actually be your uh, your courts. It will be your actually your business court. That you can actually kick people out of out, out of your commission, you know, out of the uh, um, commercial business, or if they've actually done illegal activities or practices, you bring them to the commission, okay, and you actually deal with them that way. Stop going to the courts, okay, and if it need be, okay, um, it, you can still use the court, but I wouldn't suggest it. Because uh, the courts right now are not looking to help any of our people, okay? Um, because they want us to actually do things on our own without us coming to them all the time with trying to sue somebody for money, whatever. Um, especially if they got laws against them, okay? And these days, <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> but that's just a start, people. This has been on my mind. I wanted to get that out, this out on my channel. Okay, use your stimulus package that's coming every month or this $1,200, you're going to get 20, 40, at least 60 people in your area to actually combine under contract and start these, uh, start this investment. Then you can branch out from there and get your hair salon, you can get your hair salon, you can get your nail and um, your nail salon with spa, okay? Then you can help your own people in your neighborhood. Okay. So I'm just saying this right now. And then after that, you can actually, after that, you can get together. Um, I may come up with another, uh, another um, show 
we're telling you how to get your own security detail around your neighborhood, around your business. Okay, so you don't have to involve the cops. Because um, right now, um, I used to, I'm telling you right now, I used to be a military PD. Okay, and I can tell you right now that um, the reason why we have so many, so much, many problems um, in our neighborhood is not just because of bias policing. It's because PD officers get, PD officers, I'm going to tell you right now, PD officers do not like, do not, cannot stand making reports while they're on duty. They're on shift. Okay, they want to have an easy day. They want to have an easy shift. If they got to go out because of silly calls and stuff like that, they get, they get upset. Okay. So, get upset because they know for a fact they have to write a report. And a report is a legal document. They have to get all this stuff together. As a PD officer in the military, I couldn't stand it. Okay. That's what you're dealing with. That's what you people are dealing with. You're dealing with PD officers that actually wants to, wants to come on shift and have an easy shift. We pay taxes for them, but at the same time, they want to come on duty and have an easy duty. They don't want to have to deal with stupid stuff. All right. Especially people, you know, who's lost their mind or whatever. Okay. They don't want, they don't like writing reports. Okay. Because I did. I'm letting you know right now. All right. But anyway, this is a good way of stimulating our own community, our own neighborhoods while the stimulus checks are coming out. Okay. So just think about it. And if this helps anybody in, the, in their neighborhoods, I want you to really think about it because when the quarantine is over, and you're actually able to open, get back to business, boom, you have your neighborhoods that's actually conducting, getting ready to conduct business. All right. Because the government is tired. The government is tired of, um, the government is tired of people not wanting to do nothing. That's why they're giving you the stimulus check to see what you want to do with it. Okay. And this is a perfect thing to do with it and prepare yourself for injecting back into the economy. Use your people to inject yourself back into the economy and help government or whatever um, keep the economy going, strengthen it. Okay, this is our new um, this is the new stimulus proposal that I've actually thought about last night, and I'm hoping you all take very good, um, careful listening to this uh, broadcast. Okay, and implement it. Because you have this government right now, the SBA is actually giving me loans out here easy. Okay. If you have your own people, you have your own payroll, you get your young people, your young women, your young young men and young women together, get them trained, get them into this business. Okay. And get them knowledgeable about opening up their own business when you all actually are, you know, expanding and you always look to expand every three years expand get another store whatever and you collaborate in different neighborhoods collaborate in different neighborhoods in different cities okay collaborate with each other get on the hook say what you need you okay because they can be suppliers and they can actually you know generate um networking for you in each city these are for my people brothers and sisters we need to think about the stimulus check that's coming out you need to think about what you're going to do with it don't just go out there buying stupid stuff, all right? And expect the government keep to keep funding you with you know with money just so you can do stupid stuff, okay? Buying stuff that you don't need, buying stuff so you can bling bling all over the place. Forget that. It's no longer it's no longer viable to do this anymore, all right? The government's giving you a chance to use this money to get yourself out of like out of out of the problem that's coming up because. A lot of jobs in this country is going to go away. You're going to have a lot of people unemployed. So this is a good way to get your people back in and back into the circle and get them employed. That's your children. Okay. All right. This is how I'm hoping this helps a lot of people out here right now. And um, like I said, I may come up with another proposal in a couple of weeks or whatever. Um, but this is something that's been on my mind last night. And I want to actually give this out to my people. Okay, so this is your host, Scott Freak from the Sound of Sunday radio show. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon, and I will talk with you later.